arranging the layout of your site. Click on the Arrange link at the top of the page. In Arrange mode, the content of your site is surrounded by boxes. The red boxes are layout containers, which define where you can put pages containers and content containers. For example, uh, the main layout container for this site has three rows and one column. First row is for the header, second row is for the main content of the site, and the third row is currently empty but could be used for a footer. Add in a sidebar to your site. Click on the options for the layout container surrounding the pages, containers, and content containers of your site. Choose to add another column and apply changes. Now, click on the Insert New link in that new column you just created and choose to add a content container. Finally, click on the Plus Content link in that new content container um, and add a text and images content block. We'll call this one Sidebar. Click the Submit button. and you're done. Uh, in addition, if you'd like to control the width of that sidebar, click on the options for its content container and choose to constrain its width to say 100 pixels. Apply those changes. And you're done. Moving pages containers. Click on the top of the pages container you want to move, hold your mouse button down, and drag it to where you want to move it. When you see a dark red box, let go of the mouse button. And that's it, you've done it. Moving section page containers. By default, section page containers are placed directly below the section that contains them. To move it, click on the options for that section's layout container and choose to add another row or column. Apply changes. Then click and drag that page container into or on top of the insert new link until the red box appears and let go. And you're done. Changing your pages container from a set of links in a column to a set of links in a row. Move your mouse over the top of the pages container until you get a hand or move cursor. Click, hold the mouse button down, and drag your pages container into an empty row until it's over the insert new link. Wait for the red box. Let go of your mouse button. and now your pages container is in a row. Step two, move your mouse over the top of the pages container and click on the link to options. Then change the flow of that pages container from top to bottom, left to right, to left to right, top to bottom, and apply changes. And you're done.